So, here's the deal. We are going to Import Alliance in Georgia on March 24th. Now we've been playing this for a while. We wanted to go down south, visit some other YouTubers like David, Adam, hang out with you guys, have a car meet, do some drifting, do all sorts of fun stuff down south on a road trip. And I guess for some reason I just kind of lost track of time. It's it's a uh, it's it's March 10th. We're leaving in a week. And uh, this school bus isn't quite finished. Um, <laughs> this table is still clamped down and. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do before we continue working on the battle van and doing stuff of that. We're gonna finish this. So this is ready to go down to Import Alliance and Florida and go on a road trip. There really isn't much left to do. All we have to do is uh, finish the entranceway with some trim and some weather sealing. We have to finish this table, make it fold down. We have to make cushions for this area. We have to polyurethane all the wood in here. And then we have to finish up with the cabinets. For the trip down to Georgia, we won't have a RV electrical system in it yet because I'm still waiting on batteries. We won't have any of that stuff. So we won't have an AC, a heater, we won't have a fridge, we won't have a sink. Um, but we'll have everything that we need. I also might get a trailer before we go down to Georgia, or I might rent one. Uh, I need to do that. And then we also need to finish the RX-7 because that is still waiting. We are still waiting on mufflers for it. The mufflers I ordered, I guess they were out of stock and they still haven't shipped. So I don't know if I should, at this point, cancel the order and try to order different mufflers or just hope those ones show up because we only have a week left and I kind of want to get the exhaust on so I can make sure the car's running right because I haven't driven it since I put the motor back in. So I don't know, it's a little stressful. Anyway, let's get to work. Let's get this bus finished in here and uh, ready to roll. The seats for our table uh, have some storage underneath. Right now they are open, but we did get some cabinet doors for them. So we're gonna go ahead and paint those up. <laughs> Unlike last time, I'm actually doing a gray primer coat on the white, so when we paint these red, it's easy. Um, painting anything that's white, red, is terrible. While those dry, I'm going to continue working on here. I am starting to make the trim that goes around this area, which we will glue and screw down. I'll finish making that, and then I'll clean this area and caulk in each crevice so we don't get water underneath all the wood and uh, ruin it, so yeah. trimming is now finished. I think it looks pretty awesome. It's definitely a lot of aluminum. I like the transition from the carpet to the aluminum to the wood. Now I think it's time to go ahead and start putting the handles on these drawers and doors. Drawers and doors. So another thing we're gonna go ahead and do is get actual bedding for both these beds. So right now we just have random sheets and stuff that we threw on there from what we had in the shop. Uh, but now we're gonna go to Target. We're gonna get some actual bedding that matches and brings all the colors together. 
because right now we got a lot of red up front from the cabinets and no red back here and it's it needs some balancing out so that's what we're gonna go do to target we go this is what we ended up going with we're trying to go like a uh, red gray white let's make these beds Ta-da! Now it actually looks like a house or a home. Like it looks cozy. It looks nice. See, like this is just so cool. <laughs> this is so sweet. This is cool. Both this bed and this bed, they fit perfectly. Like, uh, congratulations, Jinjim, for making a bed that actually worked. Thinking back just like a couple months ago, this was a school bus. Look at this. This is so cool. We do still need uh, curtains for the underneath part. So like curtains, curtains going along here and also currents going along there. Um, but that's, that's so dumb. I hate life. Ended up having to glue those suckers down to get them to work, but they're in there and we now have some nice doors on the bed. In person, the two reds are almost identical. I don't know why this red is so bright. I think it's because this light, and it just, I don't know, the camera picks it up weird, but it matches, I promise. Careful here, careful, you're gonna fall off. And here comes the fun part. And there we go, the entranceway has now been weatherproofed, which means it's 100% done. This, this is the finished product. It obviously looks so much better than the old school bus entranceway. Um, I definitely don't love the way the silicone looks. I mean, it's just kind of black lines all over the place, but it's gonna prevent it from, you know, getting water underneath the wood, mold, and us having to redo it in a year. So I think it's worth it. And I, I did a decent job. The stuff I use is just, it's way too thin, so it spreads too easily, so the lines are really noticeable. So, you know, that sucks, but it's gonna work. It's gonna prevent it from getting ruined. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah, guys, here we are. This is so awesome. Words cannot explain how happy I am. Uh, just like finishing some things off, getting the bedding, doing the, the front entrance way, doing the handles on the cabinets. It just made everything come together. It finally looks like an RV instead of a school bus, in my opinion. Like, it actually looks pretty awesome. I, uh, I'm just, this is just seriously so cool. Just remember what it looked like when we first got this thing. It looked like a school bus. You don't really have to know what that looks like. Or you should know what it looks like. It's awesome now. The only thing left to really do, spar urethane some of the wood so it doesn't mold if it gets water in here. And then finish the, uh, the couch table, which includes making cushions and making this fold down and uh, not taping it and clamping it together. After we do that, it's ready. It is completely done. Besides, we also want to add a TV up here so it covers up this ugly thing. And as I said at the beginning of the video, it doesn't have an electrical system for any of the plugs right now, so that kind of sucks. But it looks awesome, and it is. I'm just so excited to go on a trip with this. I'm in my school bus. I, uh, it just makes me so happy. I'm really proud. Like, this is the one thing I'm really proud of. I think I've learned so much with this project and transformed this thing so much. I'm really happy with it. 
Um, but yeah, T minus eight days now uh, until we go down to Florida. What we're doing is we're going down, uh, we're having some fun in the mountains, doing the Tail of the Dragon, then we are going to import Alliance, as I said, then we're going down to Florida to visit my grandparents, and then we're hopefully visiting Adam, uh, Taylor Ray, maybe Haggard Garage, some of the YouTubers down there, um, and just having a good time, meeting new people, testing out the RX-7. It's going to be kind of like a send-off for the RX-7 because we're going to bring it, we're going to drift it, we're going to have fun with it, then when we get back, we're going to sell it. And it's also going to be a good test for this bus to see what we want to add in the future. I mean, we're going to be living in this thing for 10 days straight, so we'll definitely find out by the end of that what it needs and what it doesn't need. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Uh, like I said, we're pretty much done with the interior, so we're pretty much no more interior videos, which is good. We've done a lot of work on this interior, and I, I know you guys probably were getting a little bored of it. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you didn't enjoy the video, give it a dislike, and tell me how I can improve, what I can fix. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We've got a ton of awesome stuff coming up. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and peace out. You could really use a good wash. A lot of cleanup to do.